Hello and welcome to the wood shop here at Crazy Crow Trading Post. Today we're going to talk about how to fit a tomahawk head to its handle. Now, maybe recently you bought a tomahawk from Crazy Crow and you wondered, well, why didn't this come already assembled? Well, there's a couple of reasons for this. First, these tomahawk heads are all hand forged. So there are subtle differences from one tomahawk head to the next so that the shape of the eye is going to be maybe a little different from this tomahawk head to another one you might get. Um, another reason is that these handles are subject to swelling and shrinkage, so maybe we would fit it here, and by the time it got to your house where the humidity is different, it might not fit. So today we're going to show you how to fit your own head to the tomahawk handle to get you started, as well as you'll know how to do this if you should ever break a tomahawk handle in the future. So right now, we're gonna talk about what kind of tools you'll need to do this kind of work. Let me show you what the ends of your tomahawk should look like after you get through properly fitting the head to it. You notice these two ends here, and maybe it's hard to see, but this one, there's a little bit of space around the eye between the eye of the head and the handle wood, and that's not proper. What we're shooting for is more like this one here, which has really no spaces between the wood and the, the iron head. And that's what we're after. Also notice that this hawk over here doesn't have any wood extending out of it. This one does, of course, but this one means that if for some reason this hawk head ever gets loose and uh, needs to be refitted, there's no space left for you to move forward. This one here, of course, would allow you to move forward the head a little bit on the handle if you do need to reshape it to fit it. Here are the tools we recommend to make this process easier. If you're going to do this completely by hand, the main tools you need are wood rasps. Now, a great rasp is uh, called a foreign hand, which actually has four different cutting surfaces on it. But for right now, today, we have two different rasps with uh, two different cutting surfaces on them. We really don't recommend using a belt sander because you'll end up taking off too much wood and uh, this will cause you more problems than you want to deal with. But first, you'll need to use these rasps to remove a small amount of wood and then when you're near to finish, you can use some different grits of sandpaper to do a real final firm fit. We're going to go ahead and try to actually fit a head to a handle. And if you'll notice, the way these come, these blanks are already kind of roughed out so there's kind of a teardrop shaped uh, head on the wooden handle to roughly approximate what you're going to have in your, in your axe head. So the first thing I'm going to do is slide the head on so that they're oriented in the same direction as far as the teardrop shape. And now I'm going to move this as far forward as I possibly can. I'm going to take a soft mallet and tap the wood handle onto the head. Now we recommend a soft mallet because if you use a steel hammer, you're just going to mar your tomahawk head and you don't want to do that. So first things I'm going to do is tap this in as far as I possibly can. And now I have to remove it. And there's different ways to do this, but what I like to do is just pound on the end of the handle until I loosen it. Now let me show you what we have here. You can see that there are now marks on this handle. This means this is where the axe head has actually been forced up onto the wood. And what you want to do next is to take your rasps and remove the wood where these marks are showing. And this is really only where you want to remove wood. You don't want to get too much too fast on this or it'll just make it harder to get a good firm fit. So what I'm going to do now is take my rasp and start to remove some of these marks. It 
Shake it all the way around for marks, but just remove wood where the marks are. Now that I've done that, I'm going to repeat the process. And basically this is trial and error, so all we're going to do is repeat this process, pound it on, remove the handle, and you, get, you can see that there are some marks on this already. So I'm going to continue to take my rasp and remove this wood and do trial and error while I gently uh, advance this head up as far as I can go, still so that I leave at least three quarters of an inch or so on the very end for future adjustment. Well, here is my tomahawk uh, after I finally fitted it. Again, there's no space between the wood and the head. And I've left a little bit on the end just in case in the future there's some kind of uh, shrinkage or over time, actually, as you, as you use your tomahawk, it's going to continually work this head a little bit forward. So I've left a little bit room for future adjustment. Now from time to time, your tomahawk head might get really loose. Um, some people actually take the tomahawk head and put this in a bucket of water and let it soak for a while. Of course, this will swell the wood, but after you get through, you need to thoroughly clean the head and oil it so it doesn't rust. Now, another problem is that no matter how hard you try, as you use the tomahawk, it's going to have a, a tendency to actually get loose in the head just a little bit. And when that happens, all you do is turn the tomahawk upside down and hammer it on something solid. So that's really all there is to it. As long as you've done a good job of fitting the handle to the head initially, typically all you have to do is just bang the handle on something really solid to be able to get the head to reseat on the handle and it'll be nice and firm for you to continue throwing. If you're interested in actual um, throwing the tomahawk, learning how to be really good at it, as well as throwing knives, we invite you to get a copy of this book from Crazy Crow Trading Post called Knife and Tomahawk Throwing. It's published by Crazy Crow, and this will help you get started in real accurate throwing. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this segment of Crazy Crow Craft Tips today and that you've learned a little bit about how to reseat a handle onto your tomahawk head and that you'll join us again next time that we have Crazy Crow Craft Tips. Mm -hmm.